Okay, this is this is bad. Now. All I want is your soul. Don't take kill before I get a soul. Yep, okay. I actually got so desperate I had to start enchanting this soul. Jazagra, I want to give you these adept robes of destruction and the adept hood, because it's clear that you're not really. Up on us. I'll smell them coming. Maybe. Or I might not. You may not. We will see. Uh, I need to. to uh, give, I want to give you this, this, um, these uh, robes and hood, because you're not keeping up your. You're not keeping up your end of the the battles here. There you go. Okay, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta go sell loot. Research journal entry one. I believe that a hitherto unrecognized breakthrough in the power of enchanting might may be possible through the precise combination of restoration, alchemy, and enchanting effects. The fact that restoration is often disregarded as an art for mere healers may have kept this technique hidden from my peers up until now, and I intend to keep it hidden. Fortunately, I will need not, not need high restoration skill to achieve this effect, but I will need to increase my enchanting skill to its highest natural level, and ideally my alchemy as well. I have heard that the enchanting of staves greatly increases the enchanting skill, and fortunately the quarters of the Archmage includes a staff enchanter. In order to create staves, however, I will need heart stones, which are only available on the island of Solstheim. I will therefore need to travel to the island of Solstheim to harvest heart stones sufficient to enchant a large number of staves, and I will need to purchase many more black soul gems and fill them in order to complete my experiments. If this technique actually works, I will likely be on track to become the most powerful mage since Shalador. I need to uh, stock up on some evil little black soul gems, uh, and then we have to go to Windhelm to catch a boat to Solstheim. You ready to get going? Jazargo is ready for more adventure. I'm glad. It's good to have a positive attitude, right? So, if you're trying to come to kill me, why are you attacking Jazargo? I mean... I'm right here. I'll we'll sell that. Somebody wants me dead. If somebody doesn't want you dead. Oh, you're kind of almost kind of a cute kitty, you know. Too bad you had to die. Um, I guess if, if if somebody doesn't want you dead, you're not doing much. Horsey, horsey, horsey. Uh, n no, horsey. one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. Yep. Take a look. Until 
Until next time. Yep. What do you need? Hi there, you freaky little son of a bitch. Uh, can we do business? You want something from me? Yeah, I want to do business. Take a look. Thank you. All right, then. All right, so now I've got uh, 13 empty black soul gems. Uh, so we need to fill them up. Uh, yeah, and again. I mean, that's worth money. Hold it. Got a merchant right here. Let's go ahead and sell him. I take a look. Good day. Yep. All right, any more distractions? All right, let's go to Windhelm. Damn this northern weather. Uh, I hear this solstice time is a pretty rough place, so be on your guard. Hi, you know where I can, uh... Okay, uh... Captain who? Is that you? If you're looking for passage to Solstein, you won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. Yeah, uh, how much it will cost me? I'll give you a fair price. Ask me. I can't blame them. Things aren't what they used to be out there. Oh, why stay there at all? They still pay me for supplies and passage. And I can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? Yes. Uh, you've got yourself a ship. We'll cast off immediately. Good. Okay, that's big. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Raven Rock, Outlander. State your intentions. Uh None of your business? That's the kind of attitude that's going to land you in prison. But I'll let it go for now. Just remember, Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Rhetoric. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Uh, yeah, why are you so suspicious of visitors? I have to be. A second counselor of security of Raven Rock primary concern. Has security been a problem? This isn't exactly the city of Blackfoot. We're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvane down. Uh, what do your titles mean? 
Councillor Morvane, House Veterans Representative on Solstein. As second councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. What is the city of Blacklight? Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. In that way, ever since Mornhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors. The uh, the Argonians invaded Morrowind? Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. Attempted expansion, revenge for the enslavement of their people, or perhaps both. Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives. Many more were exiled from their homeland. Uh, Raven Rock is purely a Dunmer settlement. settlement? Raven Rock started out as an Imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles, and when House Frederick took over, we turned it around became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. Okay. Hail, well, that, uh, actually, the walls look pretty nice. Maybe you need better walls in most places. I mean, not, not bad looking, you know. But I'm interested in Hearthstone. Very much, Zario. You ever think you would uh, actually uh, live to uh, actually look at more a part of Morrowind? I have to confess I never gave Morrowind much thought, honestly. I suppose I'll have to give it a bit more thought. What? What were those things? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ashspawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. How'd that bring you to this old farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. I can lend you a hand. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Oh, where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ash Spawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Why do you think the attacks are from the Adias farm? I don't. All I know is that the Ash Spawn are coming from this direction. So this is as good a place to start as anywhere else. Good thing the farm's been abandoned for a long time. I'd hate to see what they would do to an unarmed farmer and his family. How long has the farm been abandoned? Not sure. I was told it was an old imperial farm that was wiped out by the eruption of the Red Mountain. Not certain who lived there. It was already a pile of rubble when I arrived in Raven Rock. What are these things? No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago, but I'm not so certain. They started attacking the bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, 
They keep coming back. How often? We've had two other assaults on the bulwark at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. You think there's a motivation? Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us, and we need to find out who or what it is. All right, I'll look into it. Report back to me if you discover anything unusual. You got it. Eh, worth money, but that's not really what I'm here for. I'm big on uh, sort of light portable things. Yeah, I discovered this note on one of the ash bond. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's carriers, but that's impossible. Impossible? Why? Well, Carius was the Imperial garrison commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. If he's undead, it will be. So what do you want me to do? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. He's probably undead. To head out to Fort Frostman and check it out. I'm going to head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assault. All right. Be careful. This general curious sounds out of his mind. Yep. I don't mind doing a chore or two to ingratiate myself with the uh, locals, but our main objective here is to find the Heartstones. Um, given the fact that, that uh, there are bodies hanging up here, I'm going to say probably this is not a nice place. Yeah, you keep up the battle. I'm going to look and see if I can find any heartstones. Oh, here we go. Nice little piece, piece of gold. Now, um, homeboy's body went flying. Here it is. I'll take that. Very nice. And now I need to manage my inventory. <laughs> 